Hey guys! I'm really excited to do this video and at the same time I'm very sad because this is going to be my last video before I go on vacation and unfortunately I won't be posting any more uploads or any new videos until mid-July but um, because I am going to be going to the US I plan on doing a lot of splurging and buying a lot of planner supplies so I'm going to be um, be make, I'm going to be making a lot of haul videos hopefully when I come back so you guys can see all the goodies that I bought and so yeah since I'm gonna be traveling I wanted to do a special kind of video um, for like planner things or planner supplies that I want to take with me along um, in my trips so I thought I would show you guys what I picked out and maybe it'll help you guys decide if you're also going on vacation what you can take and what not. So let's get started. Um, I'm not going to be taking my planner. As you guys know I have a Daytimer Malibu uh, A5 size planner. This is extremely large, uh, weighs a ton so it's very uncomfortable to carry around with. So I'm not going to be taking this with me. Um, I am going to be leaving this at home because wherever I'm going, which is <laughs> going to be my sister's house in the U.S., my Erin Condren will be there waiting for me and I'm going to be definitely be using that um, while I'm on vacation. So that's going to be gone and what I will be taking with me is my, my little foam dory or DIY Midori Traveler's Notebook that I did since this is the field note size. It, fits very easily inside my purse and it's very easy to carry around with so I'm going to be taking this with me in case I want to jot down any like ideas or things that I want to that are coming up and especially I have a lot of uh, planner supplies lists that I have in here that things that I want to buy when I get to the US so this is going to come in very handy um, and now in regards to supplies um, I fit everything inside this pouch this is a makeup bag actually. It's uh, relatively small. It's actually kind of like an A5 size. If you look at my planner, uh, the pouch is pretty much the same size. But um, it's very light. It's, uh, it doesn't have any like backboard in the bag or anything so I can fit a ton of things in here. But I'm actually traveling uh, extremely light again because I'm going to be buying a lot of things when I get to the US. So I'm just going to be taking some um, things in case I do decide to plan while I'm on holiday, which I'm still not positive if I'm going to have enough time. Maybe I'll do it when I come back. But just in case, I want to be prepared and I brought some of my own things, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So, we're going to start off with my washi tape that I picked out. So I picked out two blues. Um two black and whites, and then these three skinny washies. As you can tell already, the theme is very patriotic <laughs> because I'm going to be celebrating the 4th of July and in the U.S. and also because the Erin Condren um, July month, I believe, is a dark blue and red colors. So I thought these would go really well just in case if I decide to plan in the Erin Condren. Um, and then I picked these two neutral ones just in case I want to add anything else. I have something else r other than red, white, and blue. So this is it for washi. Let's leave this here. Whoop. Oh, that fell down. We'll leave that here for you guys to admire. <laughs> okay. Then, um, in regards to pens, I'm going to be taking a few. So first off, we're starting off with my blue and black friction pens. These I cannot live without and I use them for practically everything. Just the fact that you can erase in case you make a mistake is awesome. So um, I always carry and I use these and they're Pilot. So Pilot, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my English sometimes goes weird. But yeah, my, uh, they're Pilot so I like the way, I like the way it writes. So, and then I'm also taking this um, Target Dollar Spot. This is like the watercolor line. Um, I like this pen because it writes extremely thin. So I want to test it out in the Erin Condren in case I decide to write in the Erin Condren. And then if I, if I want to decorate or go a little bit overboard with my writing and, that and whatnot, I am taking um, 
these colored pens. So I'm taking gel pens, and these are the mini version that um, I got in a nice little rack from Generation Life on YouTube. And they are from the Target Dollar Spot, so I thought they were awesome and extremely handy in size to carry around. They're actually in still in their original um, seal bag, but that's okay. And then I'm also taking my Stabilo. This is the Fine Liner .88 uh, size. It's uh, it comes in all 0.4 size. Yeah, it comes in a whole bunch of colors. So if I want to write down anything, it's any special colors. I have these two packs to go with that. So that's for pens. Let me remove the washi. Next, I'm going to be taking some post-its, and I'm just going to be using these two. Um, I didn't pick out any special colors or anything. I actually have a whole bunch of uh, pink post-its, so I just grabbed the first pack I found. And I grabbed this pack especially to use these uh, smaller size tabs or post-its. Because um, I use post-its a lot before I actually write on my planners, sort of like a pre-planning. So I'm taking these with me along so I can jot down what I do each day on holidays and sort of like a memory-keeping journal style um, for the planners since I'm not actually going to be planning anything. So this will come in handy for pre-decorating just so I know what I do each day and don't actually have to write on the planner and ruin it. So those will be there. And then I got a whole bunch of uh, washi. And again, I'm going with like the whole, I'm going to just be taking out some things and then showing them to you guys. So uh, since I'm going with like the whole red, blue, and uh, white colors for the like the whole USA and 4th of July theme going on, I made these paper clips. <laughs> again, I never use paper clips. Sometimes I do, but um, for some reason I decided to make these bow or ribbon paper clips and I picked out a blue, red, and white one and just made some ribbons on top. So I'll be using that on my planner just to decorate the pages and make them a little nicer. And I stick them in here. And then I picked out some masking sticker sheets. Um, I have four different packs and I basically browsed through all four packs and I picked out all of the blues that I could find and then all of the reds that I could find. So we have all of these and all of these just to go along with like the whole theme. I don't know if I'm going to be decorating uh, the three weeks that I'm going to be gone with all the time with these colors but you know just in case or whatever. You never know. I'm probably going to end up decorating it like a whole different style than what I'm picking out right now, but if I don't, then this is always an option. So, and then um, I printed out, and this I made myself, a whole bunch of like Erin Condren size boxes with like different patterns and like different headers. I wrote like to go, to see, to eat in like red and blue, and then I wrote Liberty, Our Nation, USA. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, just in case I want to decorate uh, my pages with that. And then I wrote vacation on these. And this one I wrote Independence Day for that day. And I found a whole bunch of like 4th of July themed patterns. And so I put them inside. I um, sized them down to the Erin Condren boxes. Hopefully I sized them okay because I don't actually have my planner yet. But from doing some Google searching, I figured out the sizes. And I made these boxes and I'll be using that just for especially for the 4th of July week and then these half boxes so hopefully these will fit and I can use them I just printed them on regular printer paper it's not uh, any like sticker paper or anything so I'll have to glue that down and so I picked all of those patterns and I thought they were cool in case you're wondering I got these patterns from freepick.com um, it's an awesome site. They have a lot of vectors, free vectors, and you can download them free as, as long as you credit the author. So that's where I got them. I'll link, that, I'll link them below. And then for the fun part, which is the stickers. I put them inside this clear bag so that they're nice and protected. <laughs> so 
let's get started. First off, I just, I don't know why I put this in here. <laughs> I just started picking things out and I found this nice Polaroid cutout that I also printed from a blog and this July, like, balloon one for the, with the month colors. So I thought that was cute and I printed that out. Then I'm taking along with me, you guys know I love my motivational quotes. These are also Erin Condren size for the boxes and I I just picked out like the black and white quotes that I found and I didn't even know what the quotes say. I just picked out all of the black and white colors that I found and actually I'm going to check if the sizes match now that I'm at it. Actually my, my boxes are a little larger so I don't know if I size these correctly but anyway we'll see when I get there and I have my planner with me so I got all of these quotes and then I already cut them out and then I also got a um, whole bunch of uh, banners and flags these are also from another blog online I'll leave the link below because I can't remember the site right now I think it's from Chella Sunshine maybe so I ha it comes with a whole bunch of colors and I thought hey, I might end up using them, so since they don't take up a lot of space, I just stuck all of them inside this clear bags and I'm taking them along with me on the trip. Then I also have these Momoi stickers. I grabbed a few that express like happiness and like yay and just things that I might <laughs> feel when I'm on vacation along with these three sheets. These are um, like a travel theme, this is like a shopping theme, and these I like because of the icons that say travel. If you could tell, they're like little suitcases. So I thought those were cute and I'd like to use them in my spreads, but again, I don't know if I will and if, you know, if I do, then I have them and if I don't, then whatever. I brought them just in case. So those are all like the diary. Oh wait, and this, and this one too. <laughs> I stuck everything inside plastic bags just in case the, <laughs> the bag is dirty because I did used to use this bag for makeup stuff so in case the bag is dirty inside everything is in clear bags so and this is also like the Korean um, diary stickers and this is like a travel theme so I thought this was adorable and I stuck everything together so we have all of those and then if you can tell I have some beach themed ones over here because I'm going to be visiting the beach as well so maybe for that day I can add one of these cute stickers beach themed and along with my beach theme I have some I can get it out some like tropical fish <laughs> stickers so these two will probably go together if I end up going to the beach one week or a few days and then last but not least I'm taking these and I haven't used these as much as I thought I would because I like them so much that I never know when to use them but got a whole bunch of like different quotes and stuff and these are the same they're just different colors so it says things like that happened write this down moments pretty darn cool what I did today so I thought this would be cool for memory keeping on the planner and I thought that hey this would be the, oppor the best opportunity to use these so just in case again I know I'm repeating myself a lot I am taking them along with me to use. So that's it you guys, that is all of the things that I will be taking along in my trip. As you can see, it feels like it's a lot, but in reality it doesn't take up a lot of space and it fits very nicely inside my um, makeup bag. And let me just put this a little nice so you guys can tell all of the stuff. So yeah, all of that fits inside this bag. And last but not least, um, I'll leave that there just so that I don't waste time moving it away. I am taking my ideas notebook and I know you, I mentioned that in here I, I always write down ideas but sometimes I do have a special notebook for all of my creative planning and whatnot. So. This will be going inside this notebook. It's just a regular notebook that I decorated the front and the back. As you can see, it has these plastic covers to um, protect the front sheets. And it's just a regular grid paper notebook. And I just write random things in here. Sometimes I plan my inserts in here. Um, this day I had written down 
all of the colors for the monthly spreads of the Erin Condren Life Planner. And then, as you can see over here, I um, did some planning for the Erin Condren style inserts that I created for my ring binder. And just random things I write in here. I like to keep this in handy. Um, maybe I'll use it when I go on the plane and, and I'm going to be traveling for nine hours. So something will probably come up and I can use this notebook just to um, brainstorm and whatnot. So that's it, you guys. All of this inside this bag. <laughs> Amazing, right? <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful um, beginning of the summer. I hope to see you guys soon. In case I can post videos, which I don't think I will, but in case I do, I'll see you guys very soon. And if not, I'll see you guys in about three weeks. Have an awesome time. and Thanks so much again for watching. Stay tuned also, uh, or not stay tuned, but you can follow me on Instagram. I will be posting things for sure because I'm hooked to Instagram. Sometimes I don't post daily, but I try to post at least three times a week or so. So you guys can check that out and um, yeah, just maybe see my new planner for sure. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching guys again. Have a great, great day. Bye.